Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you the difference between group or team apps and personal apps in Microsoft Teams. Let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So here I have a finance team. I have uh, several different teams I'm part of, um, and finance team is one of them. And of course, you know, a team consists of channels. I only happen to have uh, this general channel. And within the channel, of course, I can add different tabs uh, and uh, different applications. Um, and let me click on the plus sign over here. So let's say I want to add the tasks by planner application. All right, right here. And essentially what it does, this adds, um, this application allows me to embed a plan from planner into Microsoft Teams. And I can either create a new one on the fly or use an existing plan. All right. And essentially, I can you know call it whatever, uh, and let's click save. So it essentially embeds uh, a plan from Planner uh, into this particular channel, into this particular team. Now, what I just showed you uh, is essentially a team app. In other words, the whole team has access to this particular uh, plan. Uh, and obviously, uh, any application I add here, um, the whole team will have access uh, to that particular tab, that particular application, because obviously I'm adding those applications within uh, a team, within a channel. Um, in contrast, we also have personal applications. So again, any applications you add here uh, will be your group or team applications, uh, but we also have personal applications. These are applications only visible to you, or the information from these applications will only be, be visible to you. Uh, the way you add them, uh, obviously, you're not going to add a tab within uh, any team. Uh, just click three dots on the left-hand side. And if you, we do the same, uh, it also comes up with this little window where you can um, add all these different uh, applications. And once again, let's add the same application over here. And let's see what happens. And look what happens. Um, so this is essentially um, the same application, but because it's a personal application, what it shows me is pretty much a roll up of all the different you know tasks from all the different locations um, from all the different plans you know um, as you can see there's a tasks coming from all the different plans um, that have been rolled up uh, there's a tasks that uh, I've been um, you know rolled up from my Microsoft to do uh, which is my per essentially my personal tasks so essentially, this is like a catch-all for all the tasks. So obviously, in this case, I'm the only one who gets to see this information. But if you notice, uh, the same app looks different, all right, depending on where you add it. It looks different if I add a group app. It looks different if I add a personal app. Uh, let me show you another example uh, of, uh, you know, of the difference between a group app and a team app. I'm going to add another tab over here, and I'm going to add OneNote app. And once again, this is a group, uh, you know, uh, or, or this is a group, this is a team. So it adds, essentially, it allows me to add a particular notebook. In this case, let's add uh, this finance OneNote notebook. Essentially, what it does, if I add it to the team channel, it embeds, uh, you know, the uh, OneNote notebook uh, right within the team. Let me now do the same. Uh, and add the personal application. Now I'm going to use OneNote again as an example, and you will see uh, what it does differently. Look at this. Uh, essentially what it did, it, instead of adding a, a specific notebook, uh, just like it did uh, when I added this application to the team, it pretty much adds a summary of all the different notebooks that I have access to. By default, it added my personal notebook. Uh, this is one not notebook that's visible to me only. But if I click here, it essentially shows me all the teams I'm part of, and it, you know, to be precise, it shows me all the uh, notebooks um, that are part of those teams, part of the sites that I have access to. All right, and if I click on recent, it shows me uh, once again all the different uh, notebooks that um, that um, I accessed recently. Uh, so once again, you know, same application, I, uh, um, you know, added in two different places. Um, you know, visually look completely different, right? It behaves one way if it's a group application, it behaves differently and looks differently if it's a personal uh, application. Uh, it is important to note that uh, not all group applications have uh, a personal 
a component to it, all right? So a majority of the apps in the database will be group applications, but you know some applications that you see here have, I guess, a personal uh, component to it. Uh, and uh, once again, if you want to add a personal application, all you need to do is just click on the three dots on the left-hand side, and this will be an application that will be visible and information will be visible just by you, uh, just in your Microsoft Teams. Right. So that's all I really wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.